Gate 14 podcast, and I, I genuinely don't have any words. We can never have anything nice for over a, what, 72-hour span uh, in Toronto Blue Jays country. Uh, I'll introduce the boys first. Uh, JR, how you doing, man? I'm doing well. I think uh, my internet's shit today, just like the Jays were shit. So uh apologize for my shitty-ass internet. <laughs> Um, but no, just a pathetic performance. I think it was one of those uh, play down your competition type games today. Avery, how are you doing, man? How are you feeling? Good. Um, yesterday was awesome. Let's not. I won't get over <laughs> the fact that yesterday was amazing. Um, Charlie's gone. Kind of interesting lineup. I liked the lineup today. Didn't yep. perform. Maybe interesting arms coming out, but we've had no success in the bull from the bullpen. So. I don't mind changing some things up. I don't think we were bad today besides that nuke in the eighth or ninth, whenever that was, but uh, no, we spoiled a good Kevin Gosman start by playing shitty. Um, other than that, happy he's gone. New beginnings. Yeah, happy he's gone too. Uh, obviously we'll break down the game tonight, but uh, I think me and JR called it. The Jays were going to go two and one, uh, but we didn't call the, I, I, I didn't call them sweeping the Phillies. albeit, but I didn't expect them to go two and one. Mm -hmm. I just don't understand this team in the aspect of how do you just absolutely skull fuck Wheeler? And then you face a guy that isn't even really like, I mean, he's been a big leaguer for not a long time and he just carves your ass up. How does that make sense? It, it, it doesn't make sense, but that's baseball. Like baseball. So weird. Is, is it just me or is it Green, like completely fucked, or is it just me? It's are you seeing that, Johnny? It's definitely just you. I, I'm I seeing, sound... I'm seeing red and blue lines on Avery's face. You're 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 just fucked. Your internet's I, fucked. Your internet's fucked. I am yeah. going to send. Okay, so guys, I am going to literally send you guys a picture, and we can put this on our story of what we see <laughs> here. Okay, well, because this is. I'm recording it and putting it up on the YouTube, so it won't have it, thankfully. Yes, thankfully it won't have it. And and listen, everyone was commenting in the TikTok comments like emergency pod, emergency pod, emergency pod. I it wasn't worthy of emergency pod. One, we it would be like a ten minute podcast. What? No, it like, would have been it would have been an hour and a half. Let's let's be honest. Yeah, it would have been. You're right. <laughs> it would have been. But um, I I just got to let's go into the Charlie stuff. Um, Jesus. And let me be clear here. Oh, you're looking at the DM. No, I'm looking at my what JR sees my screen. Oh, okay, is. yeah, and I, I, I'll go. In, whoa, that is <laughs> fucked up. But uh, I'll go into. I mean, so listen. <laughs> obviously, I made that TikTok or Instagram video of me celebrating dancing on his grave, and people started saying to me, "Listen to me." I know Charlie Montoya is a good guy off the field. Maybe one of the best dudes of all time off the field. Loving guy. Seems like a great family man. But I don't want him managing my baseball team. Is that hard to fucking understand in that TikTok? The guy underperformed. The Jays last year, Charlotte, hey, call me for the stat, by the way, were first in run differential in baseball, and they finished in fourth. Like, that's the definition of underperforming. So the Jays needed a change. And Charlie Montoya was the easiest. You can't fire 26 fucking guys. Charlie Montoya was the change. But I'm happy it happened. The Jays are playing way more aggressive. Boba Shut stealing bases, by the way, with two outs in the eighth mm -hmm. is outlandish. That's crazy. If you would have got out, I would have motherfucked him for years. But it, it needed to be done. And Charlie needed to go. And I had a great time at the game yesterday with Avery and the owner's box boys. What a fucking, what a game that was to watch. I. Uh that was the most fun I'd had since the Vladdy three homer game, I think. Um, and then <laughs> Bryson hit the home run, which is awesome for Johnny. Um, other than that, it is, it is true. Charlie Montoya, good guy. Like from all accounts, uh, one of the best dudes. It's just, it's in a um, results based field and you can't provide results. It doesn't matter how good of a guy you are to everyone else. Like Mike Wilner, obviously sucking his dick from the back, saying he's the best guy ever, but he's gone. It's just like it just happens. Well, um, that's what happens when you when you get fired by Rogers Media. You kind of start an alliance of like people that have been fired. Um, I'm assuming Greg Zahn's going to be up next with uh, Mike Wilner and Charlie Montoya. Maybe they can form some sort of fucking threesome going on there. I just, Jr. What? Well, where do like obviously you're outspoken 
talking about Charlie Montero being fired, like, like, like all of us are. After tonight, seeing this bullpen, do you move? Obviously. Are you hearing this shit too, Jer? <laughs> <laughs> he frozen. This is the this is the worst podcast start to a podcast of all time. <laughs> I can't. I couldn't tell if it was just my Wi-Fi being shitty. No. Okay. No. So did you guys hear that though? I uh, heard you were we at the part bit. where uh, Charlie being fired and the bullpen being shitty. I think does that make sense? That, that's the, yeah. That that's exactly what I was saying. Does that make sense? Like just looking at it tonight, like how Anthony Band is maybe the worst pitcher I've seen in my life up there now. Who's the worst pitcher? Banda. Banda. He is oh. fucking garbage. Yeah, dude. The, the bullpen's so bad. I think like the Charlie was like, he got fired. And I think a couple people kind of just forgot. Oh, yeah. Nothing changes in the bullpen. <laughs> <laughs> like nothing physically changed. Like, yeah, we have a new manager. Uh, who's already already employed and probably let's be honest had probably a already a huge impact probably on lineup decisions let's be honest um but i mean we got to make moves and this bullpen's still shitty but i mean it's no excuse i mean this team that team we played was a poverty lineup (laughs) yeah no i i texted you guys saying we were definitely gonna lose one game i didn't think it was gonna be the first game (laughs) but just think of it those guys are Almost MLB, like Nick Prado's MLB caliber, caliber guy. Who's the center fielder, Johnny, that you were talking about? Nate, Nick, Nathan Eaton. He's good. Nate, yeah, like these are MLB ready guys who just aren't up. Mm-hmm. And I think you face a pitcher who you have nothing on is kind of hard the first time. Like, sure, you don't really know. I saw them talking in the dugout kind of like what his slider was doing because obviously you don't have any film. You don't have really a game plan against a guy who's coming out from double A, right, who has two innings on the year. So I'll give them maybe that little excuse. I think really the main thing is the Charlie firing. It's kind of a cover-up of the bullpen issues Mm -hmm. and the roster construction. Um, I don't think Charlie should have been managing this team. I do also – I don't know if these can both happen – but I also think he was kind of given a shitty bullpen that he didn't manage well. And no matter who takes that bullpen in, I don't know if they're able to figure it out. Like it is legit. Close your eyes, throw a dart on the board. See who's going to get you three outs tonight. That's how poor it's been constructed. So you got kind of the short end of the stick. I don't think he was the guy, but uh, we still, we still have issues. I want, I said no more excuses. Until we get bullpen help, there's it's going to be our well. Downfall. Like for instance, right now the Jays have a how to to do list in my opinion. Right, get Charlie Montoyo fired. Bingo. Yeah. Now fix the bullpen. Right. I'm not worried about a bat in the lineup right now. That's the least of my concerns when you throwing out Anthony fucking Banda in the ninth. Like, and by the way, and we're talking about Charlie Montoyo being a bad manager with stuff like that. We got to hold Schneider accountable for that. What the fuck are you doing when you have Matt Gage in there? You throwing Banda? I think he has okay stuff. I'll say it. Hand up. I think he has okay. His stuff. ERA is six thirty five, but it can go lower. <laughs> if he gives up three runs in six innings, his ERA goes down. That's the o- his ERA. Actually, yeah, that, it's crazy. He can't, he, he can't have a point oh one ERA without getting some outs here, right? Like we need him. He's terrible. Send okay. hand up. Shen's hand up. Hand up. It, I like him. He's terrible. He's fucking horrid. I can't believe, like, that ball he gave up was just, I think I could have launched that. That was just a hanging curveball, cock shot to Mars. Like, I, I was like, I was like, this, this is the best option. You have Matt Gage, though, and it's a 2-1 game. Like, it's easy. I mean, the Jays didn't do fuck all in the bottom of the ninth, but it's easily, a, like, a, I don't know. That was, that was absurd to me. That was, like, the Jays just lost to the o- Omaha Storm Chasers. That's who they just lost to. They did. Bobby Witt's awesome. So good. So good. Who do you think is going to be better next five years, Julio or Bobby Witt? Bobby Witt. Ah, no, Julio. Julio's uh-huh. more tools. Jer? Fucking... Nasty. Go Julio. Is, this an, is it just me, Avery? Or you is hear your, me? Yeah, is it me, Avery, or is it your butthole just fucking clenched? waiting for jr's wi-fi or one of our wi-fis to just fucking cut out here and every every single time i say something to someone i'm like uh-oh 
I'm, I'm battling. To, I don't know. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. Like, oh, yeah. I can hear here. you. What are you talking okay. about? I can always <laughs> hear you, but your video lags after. Maybe so. I should just turn off my video, to be honest. No, 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 no. no, no. Don't that do would that. be nightmare for our video guy, Avery, rec- uh, editing this. Oh, I see you talking. Like, I, yeah. <laughs> literally, still, you know, we should. It's actually absurd. This is crazy. Easy. I'm seeing right. right on Ave, like literally no video, which is absurd. It's the definition of the Jason tonight. Yeah, it's uh, Rogers communication shutting us down. That's what can we happening. talk about the good time we had at the game though yesterday? Yeah, we can talk about the good time. It was a great time. And the, I'll say the, this: the the the, the Bat Boys. Shout out to the fucking Bat Boys. And he made a cut. Yeah, I want to bring that up. So, me and Avery go down to the field to say what's up to Bryson. Uh, and I see these two guys in the bullpen that are just giddy. Like they are, their faces. Dugout, dugout, dugout. Yeah, the dugout, sorry. And their faces are lit up. Like they're fucking waving their hands at us. Like, and then they come over to us and they are fired up. Like they're like, fellas, they're like, I fucking love the podcast. Like I, I would never in a million years would I have thought the bat boy and the ball boy of the Blue Jays listens to our pod, like knows who we are. So he was like fired up. And, he, and then, uh, yeah, so the, so the guy that made the catch, and then I, yeah, I'm watching the game tonight, and I see this ball get hit, like, obviously foul in first base, and I just see a catch, a Derek Jeter-esque catch <laughs> at first, and I immediately text the group chat, and the reason why I know is because this guy has, like, a turtle gold necklace that he always wears because he was wearing it uh, yesterday. That's how I recognized him, and I was like, that was the fucking guy. Like, that was a listener. He's probably, he's probably listening to this right now. That was him. I was fucking juiced. I was like, let's go. The only thing I needed was a, a gate 14 arm sleeve. Maybe, maybe get some fucking, cause it was all over Twitter. Like it was all over Twitter, this video. Well, we need God. to get that and post it and find out who this guy is. We need so to get him to DM us. Yeah, I'd love to have, to have him the, on. Dude, ball boy on the pod would be so electric, man. He probably has some stories. That's what I'm saying. Well, he probably I, can't I, tell him right now so he can keep his job. Yeah. I, I DM'd yes. him. Yes. I don't even want stories right now. Like I just DM'd him because I, I said to him, I was like, dude, let's get you on like DM us. I just want to hear what goes into being a ball boy. Like, yeah. I'm just fascinated How do you got the job and all Yeah, that. that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like that yeah. would be great for listeners just to hear what it's like to be a bat boy. Cause it is the craziest, like <laughs> looking, like looking back on it, there's only four people in Canada that got that job. This, like, isn't that kind of like a high thought? Like, whoa, four people. No, and- I also think like, what's training look like? Like, are they just, <laughs> hey, sit there. And they just pound them grounders. I uh, I watched a Jimmy Kimmel video <laughs> with that guy, with that uh, Mexican guy, Guillermo. Yeah. And they mm-hmm. were doing training for a ball boy. One guy took a fungo and he would like rip it up against the side of the netting and they had to like practice catching it after. <laughs> It's, I'll send. I'll try and find the video for it and send it to you. It's pretty. They just, I, rip, they just rip them down the line and they have to decide judgment call if it's fair or foul. <laughs> no, no, they weren't like doing the that. <laughs> Dude, like I, I, it was crazy because obviously I was with Avery and it it was it wasn't just one. Like it was both of them. Like they were fucking ju- like these guys are in dugouts with like Nick Castellanos, Kyle Schwarber, and they see me and fucking Avery at the uh, in the stands and they go bananas. It was crazy. <laughs> Do you I mean, think that, we're that, we might be in the we might be already in the dugout. The gate fourteen might. You think Schneider's look tuning in? in there? You think Schneider's tuning in? <laughs> <laughs> Schneider's just fucking stroking himself to the Charlie slander. He's just <laughs> like, <laughs> he's just like yes. <laughs> Maybe that's that's hey people were saying right we we got. Montreal oh. fired. Maybe it got to front office. Maybe Atkins listens to this. We were getting. I, I, I gotta say this for the people <laughs> DMing us, thanking us for getting Charlie Montoyo fired. Th- that's where I draw the line. No, that, <laughs> that was maybe the best part of anything. <laughs> that was awesome. We were getting DMs like, pre- like we just saved the child's life. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for doing this. Thank you for getting Charlie Montoyo fired. I was like, I had no input on this. Zero input. Maybe though, and it was like some people's like first time interacting with the pod. Like they <laughs> it had went to be our best day followers wise, eh, Jer? What? It had to be our best day followers wise. Oh yeah, they kept coming, which is good. It means that the first Jays, like when they searched up Jays, like we came up and they wanted to follow us. So yeah. that's good news. Yeah, I mean <laughs> that video, like of me celebrating it. Looking back on it, I could have reacted maybe a little bit different. But that's no that that's what's the great thing about this podcast. 
talk about TikTok, Johnny, please. It, because I ben went Verlander. Back. Ben Verlander. Oh, Ben Verlander. Yes, that is also. We need a TikTok update a little bit because <laughs> your video is so fucking funny of the Charlie and the comments are even better. And you, you just seen this guy just at the field. One. I did not respond to every single one. <laughs> First of all, I responded to about six. And that was the only ones that I could think of with the best response. So the first one, um, some guy said, I'll celebrate like this when you lose your job. And he got no likes. No, no when no. you get a job. When, you, when or... you get a job. Yeah. He got no likes. Like no one even like thought it was funny. So his name had fat in it. So I responded, I'll celebrate like this when you lose weight. And just ratioed the <laughs> fuck out of him. Like, and then another dude said, um, t- tell me you don't know baseball. T- like something like along those lines. And I said, holy shit, it's the baseball encyclopedia. I was like, maybe one day I'll know as much baseball as you, King. Ratio the fuck out of that kid. Too. I'm addicted to ratioing. You got crazy. I was I thought it was really good. I mean, you <laughs> took it. You come back. You come back real hard. Like, I feel like people are commenting <laughs> at this point just to trigger reaction from you. <laughs> The mud boy back comments are really good. Like just, oh, you I, love it. When I say something, you just the first comment is it's either common gate 14 W or mud boys back. That's the only <laughs> two ones. You get. had to expect when you posted that video on TikTok, you had to expect you were probably waiting in the comment section. I was, I was with one. Avery when I was doing, it. I was like, let me go in the comments here. Let me see. Cause I, cause I was obviously I had to drive to Avery from Guelph. So I wasn't like really on my phone or like looking at the comments. And then right when I got in Avery's car, I was like, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Here but dude, come. it got like, I didn't expect it to get that many views. It was an eight second oh. video. No, and, like, those are, per- well, those man. are perfect, man. And yeah, people, those are good. And people were like, um, what were they saying? Like, it was just like, everyone was like, I was waiting for your reaction. I was waiting for all this, waiting for that. Like, people were looking forward to this video. And people are still commenting, can we get a clip of you talking about John Schneider? That's what this podcast is for. That is what yeah. we're doing. But the, just... it's it, there's, like, so many Charlie stands. And ho- part of me hopes, like, his wife sees me just ratioing 12-year-olds <laughs> in the TikTok comments and being like, all right, I got to tip my cap to this fucking guy. I thought like, you were about to say part of me feels bad for his wife. <laughs> and then I was thinking, well, like, there's just no way he says that. You think Charlie no, goes back to like a double A team somewhere? <laughs> he's he's Charlie Montoya was managing the Asheville tourists. And I, <laughs> no, what <laughs> Charlie is gonna get, he's gonna get a head of morale job for fucking a major league team <laughs> or bongos, head of the bongos, head of morale. Fuck the man, that. The- that tweet I sent you guys today saying that he broke into the dugout to play a couple more songs. <laughs> I legitimately laughed out loud. I could not believe it. Was, it was a great week for content. It was a great week for content. Part of me, honestly, was hoping the Jays just wouldn't lose until the All-Star break so I could just start body bagging all the people that said, don't fire Charlie. But hear, hear me out. If the Jays win the rest of the series and the Jays win like Friday, Saturday, Sunday's games, we don't even really look back on this game. We really don't. Like, I'm just like, all right, Schneider is fucking four and one since he took over. The Jays are buzzing, all that type of stuff. And I will say that, like, he put this team in the best possible situation tonight with this lineup. This this lineup tonight fucked. This is on the bats. And I know we say we hold we we roast Charlie for his lineups. He's never made a lineup that fucks like this. This okay. lineup fucked. That it was the first thought I had. T Mac, um, we're sitting at work. He said have you seen the lineup yet? I said, no. I said, don't tell me because the way he said it to me was I was intrigued. I wanted it. Last night was the, the ode to Charlie. Charlie made the lineup probably the night before he told the guys. <laughs> so we kept Charlie's lineup. Right. And yeah. then uh, John Schneider dropped his balls on the table and he made this lineup. And I looked at it. I was, I was very, very excited. I think he said, and he said, he's going to stick with it for a couple of games as you should. I'm, I'm guessing that's going to be the, close to what the lineup will be for the rest of the series but it was really nice to see fresh Bo shouldn't have been hitting in the two hole with kind of his struggles for that long I think getting Vladdy more at bats than Bo is important and Bo Bo can steal and use his speed in the I mean it's weird to say this but in the four hole almost better because you're not taking the bat out of Vladdy's hands you're taking it out of Lourdes's hands and and he's hitting and he's and he's hitting between He's hitting between Kirk and Teo. Like, those are pretty two guys to be, like, protecting around you, right? Like, they kind of have to pitch to Bo. And he's, like, a free swinger, right? So, mm-hmm. I Two don't walks today, that. though. I'll take it. 
Yeah. No, I, I don't hate that bow. I don't hate that bow in the four hole. I really don't. I, I'm excited to see it tomorrow. Obviously, Zach Ranky, a little soft throwing righty. Um, I think it's going to be, I think I'm going to be optimistic. Tonight's loss was obviously as embarrassing as possible. You lost to the team, but you got to think, right? You're facing a pitcher, not much film on him. Guys out of the bullpen, not much film on them. A lot of the hitters, they don't really know how to throw to Nick Prado or how to throw to Nick or uh, Eden and all those type of guys, right? So I, I'll give the Jays a pass with tonight, even though it was embarrassing. It shouldn't be a pass. Shouldn't be a pass, but I'm I will also do it too. Yeah, yeah. because no uh, excuse, no excuse. Unless we lose uh, this series, tomorrow. then this is a fucking disgusting series loss. No, if but, they lose this series, it's like tank for first overall next. <laughs> yeah, we have the draft tomorrow. I haven't even. I didn't even get in the lab with some Jays guys I want them to take. I'm an idiot. Drew he Jones. Told, he told you that was your only job. I want Ricky Tiedemann if he has a brother. I want them to take him. <laughs> just all of just assemble all of his boys from high school. I want his high school team pretty much playing for the Jays. I don't even know if his high school team was good. But yeah, I guess we're to Cal Poly. They're all probably there. Yeah, for sure. Actually, yeah. we got to talk about the, John Schneider, though. Obviously, we've talked about Charlie and stuff. And Avery sent the tweet. Uh, Apparently, John Schneider was getting a lot of looks from other associ- uh, other teams for manager roles, rival teams as well. Um, I don't hate the signing and I, the the him making him the manager, and I truly do think that he will be the manager after this year if he if the Jays make the playoffs or whatever they make the wild card and stuff. I truly think, obviously, it's a low expectation. I, he will be the manager, but another thing that I saw as well is he managed all these guys in the minors, right? They know what they're going to get from them. They're pretty familiar with them. I do like that aspect. Instead of having a guy fresh come in before the all-star break for four games, have no idea what the fuck he's doing or the team personnel. I do like it. I do like the John Schneider. A lot of people are saying, is that an upgrade? Is that an upgrade? It is an upgrade based on the fact that he clearly, if you watch the last two games, plays very aggressive, like steals on every, every single time a guy's on first in my mind. And he's like kind of quick. I'm like, he might steal second here. And I love those type of vibes, those small ball type of vibes. The hit, the hit and runs we had yesterday were awesome. Today, not so much. Like, sometimes he'll bite you in the ass. We didn't get thrown out, I don't think. But it was really good. Um, also, the Bison's coach, like manager, is now the bench coach. And apparently people absolutely love that guy. He played with um, Biggio's dad. He says he's one of the best guys in baseball that he's ever met. So you bring a guy up like that, the vibes are just off the charts, too. Yeah. You like and you said and you said John Schneider's uh keep the guys accountable guy, right? Yeah, that's kind of what he said in his introductory press conference that people are going to be held accountable. And who do you think that's a shot at? My dad was saying this. We were watching the game. Like, who do you think it's a coaching staff thing or a player? I think Tay Oscar. Really? I really do think it's Tay Oscar. Someone made a good point on the radio today. Tay Oscar is you, you. he gets lackadaisical a lot. You could, he's, mm-hmm. There's a lot of times in the base pass, he's really lazy. Or in the outfield, he's really lazy getting to a ball. He's not really playing full out. I think Tay Oscar's that guy. That is like lackadaisical with the way that he approaches things. And I, I what I do also like is, is John Schneider saying he's going to take accountability too. Like he wants the players to hold him accountable. Like if, he, if they see that he's not putting a good lineup out there, or throwing a bullpen that I got of the bullpen that they don't think is going to help them win and stuff like that. He wants to be held accountable. I do like that aspect as well. That's a, that's a great thing for a manager to say. I don't know if all managers say that, but I do like that. One of the uh, things in the, it was an Arash Madani tweet, which was maybe one of the most ridiculous tweets I'd ever seen. It was saying that the um, Jay's front office was uh, done with Montoya for weeks and that they just didn't get him help on purpose to make him look like shit so they'd fire him. If that's what Arash Madani thinks, that is a fucking nuts thing to do to a coach, if that's the front office. Harash. Oh, Harash. And I also, they, they talked about how, how much they didn't like him. Obviously, Bo's comments today saying he was happy with the change, which is kind of a nuts thing to say as well. <laughs> he just shoved him right on out the door. He had no problems doing that. Um, I forget what I was going to say. But, um, yeah, fuck. I forget what I was going to say. You know, but I'll piggyback what you're saying. You get the vibes, though, from the players that they're not going to miss this dude, right? Like, yeah. They're, yeah, trying to have, they're trying to have conversations in the fucking clubhouse, and he's playing fucking Stairway to Heaven on the bongos. <laughs> you just can't do that. <laughs> in the air tonight, that's what he's going to do. Nice, Jared. That's a good one. <laughs> it's, um, I'm just I, Obviously, no sarcasm, but you could definitely tell the players are not going to miss this dude, right? Yeah, no, I, I think, think that so. I think that bringing in a new manager would have been a huge risk. It makes sense to just bring up a guy who's familiar with the system. 
who the guys obviously respect. Like, I would tell Montoya to fuck off to his face, but I wouldn't tell John <laughs> Schneider to. Right? No, that John Schneider is a John scary Schneider would kick your ass. Me. He scares me. Yeah. <laughs> so they said he's been in the organization for 20 years. This guy's 42 years old. What was so he doing? He, start, he's, he was a 20 year old grinding. Was he playing for us? I don't think so. No. Interesting. <laughs> no, there's no way he's been in the organization for 20 years. I, they've Someone said it. That. That's it's crazy. crazy. But what is he? A hundred years Schneider old. John Schneider has been a part of the Blue Jays organization since 2002. Did you say he was 42? So. Yeah, he had to have played here then, right? That's what I'm guessing. <laughs> Let's see from the start. Okay. Wow. So, my manager th- hit 306 at the University of Delaware. My yeah, hashtag wow. my manager. 13th round pick 2002. For the Jays? Yeah. He and I will say this and God, listen. Scary. And for the people listening, there's an easy way to buy me over, right? Everyone knows what that way is. If you pack dips on the field and if you pack lips, I'm sold. You could be the worst manager. You could be Tony La Russa, And if you throw a dip in and it's visible on the field, I'm all in. John Schneider, there's a picture of him him here on Dunedin, and he has an absolute fucking hammer in his mouth. I'm sold. Like, I think he's the... a big seeds guy now, though. Maybe he quit. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, he quit. That's fine. Sometimes you got to step away from the game. But this guy, <laughs> he managed all the boys. Like, I, I will. Uh, it's I like John Schneider. He's a scary looking motherfucker. He looks like an NFL lineman. You go, you go to a, like a country bar in middle America on a Friday night. There's like eight dudes getting in a bar fight that look exactly like John Schneider. Yeah, he definitely pounds beers. Oh, he definitely does Pete? pound beers. We have a good draft. We have a good draft coming up today. A good draft that I have. I didn't obviously oh. let you guys know what the topic is, but I will oh, let you know. I forgot the topic about is that. Now. I will let you know what the topic is now, just so you guys can have a little bit of an idea. Guys on the team that you would want want to golf with so we go we get two picks each or should we do a foursome should it be four or is two we'll we'll take it easy on billy i think two makes sense though two take yeah. it easy on billy but um yeah i think i i genuinely do think john schneider's like that guy with the players and obviously like the players have that connection right like they come up to the minors with him and he's uh coaching with them when they were younger and stuff like that when they're in new hampshire dunedin all those areas and then this fucking guy from the Rays, his bench coach comes in, no familiarity with any of the guys. Mm-hmm. When literally one of the guys, like John Schneider, who been up with them the whole system, is right there. Like I, if I was Vladdy and Boy, I'd be like, I, I trust uh, Schneider's words a little bit more than Charlie's because obviously this is a guy that knows me the best. Like knows me obviously, and knows me more than this fucking bum Charlie Montoya. No disrespect, of course. But um, yeah, dude, I, I love the manager change. I'm excited to see. I'm trying to see what happens for the rest of the series, but it's not done yet. Like, and Jr. hit a great point with it, and I want Jr. to elaborate on it. This bullpen, nice the Jr. Like, <laughs> this bullpen, we can celebrate the manager great. Like, we can celebrate winning by nine, whatever. I still sweat when the Jays are up seven, and this bullpen's in the game. It's crazy. <laughs> no, it's it's, dude, it's so bad, and. Some teams are making moves now, like the Yankees. They got, I mean, it's not a huge move, but they add some depth with uh, Tyler Wade to their lineup. I don't know if he's you guys best saw friends that. with Judge, apparently, too. Really? Wow. Yeah. Make him happy. He never really, it's kind of a, I don't know. I thought that was a r- weird move. Like he's going back to the team that just like kind of never really gave him like a, a shot, a fair, like a shot, like a complete shot. I don't, I don't really get it. Maybe he loved his time there, but he's familiar with the guys. He can play a role there, and maybe he wants to win or try and win a ring. But no, like the Jays, I mean, start hunting, man. We need a lot of, a lot of fucking, like, it's bad, dude. Like, we're in a really tough spot. This kind of puts a Band-Aid over it. But at this point, I have no connection with uh, any guys in the minors. I just trade them all. Seriously, like, trade. That's I don't, true. Where the I, fuck I, is Pearson? Like, he's <laughs> where the fuck is my guy, man? Like, I, it's actually fucked, right? Like, where the th- fuck is Pearson? Man? We need to throw like an an air air po- the, the Apple like car tags or whatever on the back of Nate Pearson, so you know where he is at all times. That's at all times, mean. just have it. And then I need to a- sit. I need to sit front row for his first game. Yeah. You need to be at his rehab. Can we? Can you tell this George Springer story? 
I don't now- know. I don't think I should tell because then it outs my. You got play. insider information. Well, he's hurting. I'll say that. Yeah, he's okay. hurting and he's yeah, telling like, anything else. He's hurting and he's making it object. Like he's telling people he's hurting. Like, I guess. I, I guess. I. I don't know if it's crazy to say that, but we'll. Pre- like, I read his lips, and he told guys on the base. He's like, um, just make sure. Sh- like, just please don't run on me. I. I can't feel my elbow. Like something along those lines, where it's like my arm is fucked. And that's why he's not at the All Star game. Thank God he's yeah, and that that's needed rest. Like if you played in the All Star game, he'd be a dummy because he's his he looks like bionic arm. He's, he's wearing. If you get Tommy John surgery, I'm pretty sure you wear the exact same brace George Springer's wearing right now. <laughs> it looks maybe it's a little smaller, but I when my brother got Tommy John, it looks the exact same, and he's just covering it up with an arm sleeve, but you can totally see what's under it. Yeah, uh, he's hurting. George and he, Springer and he is doing 360s in the box like it's nobody's business. Uh, and you both laughed at me when I said that. <laughs> you both laughed at me when I said that. We definitely have to talk about George Springer. I mean, the guy is injured, right? He is the most injured dude of all time right now. His arm yeah. is his arm like he's he his arm looks like he his right arm's on steroids and his left arm is just perfectly normal. I will say this: it is crazy that he's doing all of this shit still with the arm that's like messed up. And Bryce Harper wore the exact same thing when he had to glee, uh, when he went on the IL for his elbow injury. Do you remember that a little bit earlier in the year? He, he tore his like, UCL. Yeah, he missed. Yeah, he missed like two or three weeks or something like that. I don't remember how long it was, but he had a DH. George Springer has the exact same thing on his arm. Like, like he's. I don't know what's happening. No one. No one. I wish I was a doctor, but he. God, we're fucked if he's out. Oh, Zimmer can start. <laughs> Weighted runs created plus of 32 Bradley Zimmer, if you didn't know that, Jer. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man, he is something. Bradley Zimmer is something. But, uh, yeah, man, it's uh, Springer. I hope he can get better, dude, Like because, fuck, he is. He looks rough. You could tell. And I, I'm happy everyone's acknowledging this because when he takes a swing, I literally said it to Avery a million times yesterday, when he takes a swing, he's playing a game of Twister in the batter's box. <laughs> Like he literally is every swing. Like, can we take it easy maybe? Or just like a normal, or is it just daddy hack 24 seven? I don't know, but Avery did notice yesterday. So I'm congrats. Welcome to the club. Avery. Welcome to like reality. And thank you for noticing it. I appreciate that. Yep. Anytime. Um, but congrats to our all-stars, by the way. I don't know if we commented on that. Whatever. It's fucking Vladdy's not an all-star. All-stars fucking load of shit. Well, Kirk's a fucking all-star and Alejandro yeah, Kirk meme should be there in person. Yeah, he why should. isn't Kirk Memes there? That's kind of crazy. He can't afford it. It's true. Well, he's he has to go to LA. Out. LA is expensive. But he's from that coast, you know. It's like he's from yeah, he's from it's like a little, he's from BC. He could drive there. How far of a drive is that? Someone search that up. Uh, <laughs> uh, like twenty four hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same time zone at the end of the day, right? Yeah, That's all you can really ask you're for. Right. You're right. But yeah, same time zone. So I'm just assuming it's in the same part of the country, but. <laughs> Um, yeah, congrats to the All-Stars, I guess. And when I say All-Stars, I pretty much only mean Alejandro Kirk. Alec Manoa yeah. deserves it. Manoa, sorry. No, yes. Manoa, yeah. You're right. Kirk and Manoa are the only two guys on this team. And cre- credit to me, pat on the back, Credit, thank you, Johnny, for admitting that Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is not an All-Star this year. He's not. Ty France is. I don't know if it sh- they should be like, you're saying the starter or just in the game? A at starter, all? a starter. He should not be a starter at the All-Star. Ty France has significantly better stats in almost everything. Yeah, if, the, if you're right about that, I think you're right you should. That. You should be um, like putting guys like Ty France will probably. Austin never Riley's not an All-Star, starter. guys. Yeah, that's. And l- here's a little recap, a uh, little sneak peek. I just interviewed Spencer Strider today. He said it is the craziest thing of all time that Austin Riley is in an all-star. And I believe I looked at his stats because I obviously I don't follow. I follow the Braves, but not as much. And I was like, whoa, Austin Riley is fucked. He's not on the all-star team. He's a very good player. Very very good. That is. We also missed a point that I want to talk about. Ben Verlander commenting on our TikTok oh, at three yes, in the morning. Got to talk about that. He on commented that. on it at three in the morning. It's a video from three months ago. Like, yeah, it, I was trying to find the comment and I was like, oh, it must have been an old video. And I just didn't feel like it's like, it, dude, like how many followers does he have on TikTok? 
fuck, I don't know. I don't know how many idiots there are out there. Like, is it, um, was it? It was his legit account, though. Abe. Oh yeah, no, it was. And and yeah, then okay. you know he what he was also. Doing, I didn't check tried. that first when I sent that to you guys though, so it could have definitely been a f- fake one. I didn't. No, check. it is. He has seventy thousand followers. Okay. Um, yeah. And you want to talk about a guy like terrified. Avery's boy at Ohio State, starting at third base, um, Ben Verlander out of university gets drafted by the Tigers. Who plays for the Tigers? His brother. Doesn't go, or sorry, out of high school, get drafted by the Tigers. Doesn't go out of university. They're like, oh, fuck, Berlin, your brother's pretty good here. Gets drafted again by the Tigers. Did he go to Old Dominion too? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he went to Old Dominion, got drafted twice by his brother's team, and now he has a job at Fox just pretty much sucking his brother's cock every <laughs> single segment of the show. So that's what Ben Verlander is. And I like that's all he'll ever be. He's starting on third base guy like Ryan Day of Ohio State. That's what he'll always be, unfortunately. Sorry. Sorry, Ben. Yeah, I, I, I hate that, dude. And I have to talk about something else, too. This is crazy. There was a guy at the game on Tuesday wearing a Zach Hample shirt to the Jays game. Isn't that outlandish? That's didn't worse. It, didn't it like say nerds word. rule on it, you said? Yeah, it said, like, the no. biggest nerd in baseball. <laughs> The biggest fucking dweeb in baseball is what it should have said. The biggest virgin in baseball. (laughs) (laughs) That makes me want to puke in my mouth. We saw some good jerseys last night. We saw Gustavo Chassin. That's a great jersey. That's a great jersey. That's a tip your cap jersey. That really is. Uh, Gustavo Chassin. You know what's great? There was a Gustavo. Like, this is why I miss the old Jays. Like, there was a Gustavo Chassin cologne giveaway. (laughs) What? Yeah. No way. Yeah. I don't know if it was a giveaway, but I do know there was a cologne of his in Toronto. Um, I do remember that because I had Josh Towers. I interviewed Josh Towers once, and he talked about that, like the Gustavo Chassin cologne. So <laughs> we need to get our hands on that. Like that might be selling for 20 grand on eBay. The Gustavo Chassin cologne. I need it. I need it. to. It'll be like the Anchorman one. It works every <laughs> it works Sex Panther. time. Every time. <laughs> yeah, man. This is a good week to be a Jays fan. Hand up. It was. I had a great week. Besides tonight, obviously, it was a great. I had a great time. What do you think our schedule is going to be like for the All Star Game, so we can tell the people? Recording schedule. Are we going to wait till after the series or record after the All Star? No, we game? still hammer it out. We still hammer it. Out. We'll do Sunday, Sunday, Friday. Well, what do you mean? It's the same thing. Do you have a brain, Avery? What are you talking about? He's small brain. No, because we don't play again till Friday. So you want to just record on Thursday after the All Star? No, we. We record our recap of the weekend just like we always do. Yeah, yeah, and for then, sure. And then we and then we give a preview for the series on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's this, it's the same thing. So it's no, there's no difference. Okay, I'll be. Is that there. crazy to say, Jr? Am I crazy? No, I think you know. Sometimes we, it's an all-star break for us too. You know, no, Maybe it's we not. Break. We the Jays Dave take wanted, breaks. We Dave don't. Thought he got nominated. I'm going on vacation, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Abe thought he was. Abe he thought, thought he was made was the fucking podcast nominated. award. He yeah, thought yeah. he was, uh, yeah, he's like, all right, I media, go to media members, man. They mandatory break is what I heard. Yeah, like, I don't know if he, what he thought was happening here, but he <laughs> thought he was going to get this. this. Abe's like, so we got the week off, right? Like, I'm going to Aruba. He even told, he even told his work. He's like, so it's the all star break next week, right, guys? Like, what's the work schedule like he next week? to his boss's office and said, hey, I just want to let you know I was nominated. <laughs> Fourth best Blue Jays podcast this week. That's what I said. That's the award. <laughs> the audacity on Abe to just be like, all right, well, uh, Sandy, I, the all-star week, right? So we're all off. Can't do any content. Yeah, I, I am out of the office the whole week. All-star week. Well, oh, are yeah, we shocked? I forgot. Oh, you're gone. No wonder yeah. you're talking about this. Yeah. All right. I'm in PEI. So are you, you going to be recording? That- are you going to be being Mr. Worldwide? Be recording in PEI or no? Y'all be there. I don't know if they have internet out there, but I'll have it. You're gonna yeah, have do, a, and, and do we have a, PI listeners? If we're PI listeners, do oh, is there 100%. internet down there? There's there's internet and Abe's gonna have a fan base listening. Yeah, we're Watching. gonna Abe's gonna do like a live show at a bar and PI should be packed. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I, I genuinely do think that um the Toronto Blue Jays are gonna turn around like a Phillies type of ask, like where they went 25 and 12. In the last 37 games going into this, obviously after the series, I, I'm I can't wait to the moment that Roger Sportsnet pans to the dugout and just sees John Schneider ripping into a player. Like that's what I'm looking for. And being like my manager, like a guy like half-assing it around the base pass or didn't tag correctly or ha- like wasn't aggressive. 
and John Schneider's like, get the fuck over here. And then he, ha- they kind of have that mutual respect where it's like, let's go. All right. You're right. All right. And you kind of saw it. I mean, everyone was playing fucking hard, man. Bo was stealing every Bo. Bo thought he was fucking Billy Hamilton this week. How many bases did this guy steal? Yesterday he had one. Today he had one, right? Yeah, it's like fucking sign me up for that. Yeah. In a four hole. Do you think do you think that uh that's gonna be like part of the game plan? An aggressive base. Yeah, he said he wants to get them going. Such a power move. Such a power move out of John Schneider. Trying type there, what? Well, <laughs> we just ruined it. Yeah, I right. do think I I do think though, and, and Tapia stole yesterday, right, Dave? Yep. So Tapia, he's he's starting to he's start, I think a lot of Jason are starting to come around on Tapia. Is that crazy to say? Jarrah, Jarrah's too scared to say hi to him. That's how much he liked him. Yeah, Jarrah's a big such a big Tapia guy, he fucking shit his pants when he saw the dreadlocks in front of him. Oh my god. Oh my God. We wish he could respond. <laughs> For the people listening, JR's Wi Fi is in fucking shambles right now. I hate the fact that it, it, this stays in the episode because people are probably like, Dude, these guys are so players. fucking dumb. Um, but yeah. And, well, the fact that we don't have a, a, Zoom, a paid Zoom account is the worst. It's the worst. We gotta, thing. We got, I gotta just bite the bullet. I'm gonna bite the bullet tomorrow. Don't but, do that, man. <laughs> whatever and i gotta ask this so obviously there's obviously we're moving up here in the industry we got a couple things going on here i gotta ask this for the listeners let us know if we ended up doing like a promo with a like a betting company like a sports book and there was a gate 14 parlay like a gate 14 parlay let us know if you guys would ride with that like let us know if you guys would just no questions asked be in with the boys sweating shit out with the boys because i need to know i want to know like the, the the outreach we have like DM us, reach out to us, let us know you just you're in on it with the boys. Another thing, Abe, we gotta figure out while JR is fucking Might trying to back. go. Oh. oh, he's back. Holy... No, he's not back. He's not <laughs> back, Holy but um, he's not back. Um what do we oh, what he do might we be call... back now? No, nope, never mind. No, what do we call our listeners, hey? Abe? What do we call our listeners? Like what what should the listeners be called? So oh, they, shit. They can I throw in the bio. Could, I wish Jared could talk right now because he would have a good name for it. Stupid ass name for the listeners. Like, what? JR, are you back? No, he's not. He's fucking can not. Can you guys hear me for fuck's sake? Yeah, no. we can hear you. Wait, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, we can hear you now. Oh my God, bro. My internet was so fucking good for a bit. And then we started talking shit about um, the team a little bit. And then Rogers took our internet away. Yeah, Rogers. Yeah. There we go. Say the name. Know. You're good right now. Oh my god, dude! There's so much pressure. Um, <laughs> oh my god! God damn, man! The ideas guy, Jer. This is terrible. What happened? No, just I don't know what Jr. is doing. This has to get cut. Like this, this is embarrassing. Like this is we're gonna get roasted for this. Um, but yeah, I will say I, I will not I will getting say, cut. No way. Okay. It's staying in there. I guess <laughs> it's kind of comedy, but, um, what are the gate 14 listeners called? Someone That's what he's trying to idea. come up with, man. The Someone 600 gave... level. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a good start. Jared. Good. That's a good bottom. I'm trying floor. to throw something out there. Yeah, guys. no, it's, I, I like to laugh, but it's, you found some good ones before. What? Like, like, I don't know. Barely legal. That would describe, <laughs> yeah, a lot of it. No, I'm serious. I I generally don't know what they should be called because it's tough because we're named after a we game. need. They Gators? have more. They have they more. Put a... <laughs> the Gators wouldn't be the worst, you know. <laughs> the Gators. <laughs> <laughs> we put DM us, please. You guys will have more brain power and be able to think clear head. We're just trying to come up with this now, but I think I think a good DM and we can. We can have a nice little contest. Yeah, Gators. Win- winner gets um, the <laughs> pants from the Jersey game. <laughs> game worn. Game game we worn. still, I still get comments like on that TikTok saying, "Couldn't even get a real jersey." Like it's still crazy that that's like what they resort to. It's fine though. It's Our hilarious players- how obvious the fake jerseys are at the Jays games, though. Yeah, me and Avery actually saw one of the worst fake jerseys of all time yesterday, right, Ave? I don't remember. I, I kind of point them out all the time, but what do you mean? It was the it was the Pearson one. Oh, 
Th- this was legit the worst one of all. Jer, it looks like um, the guy who made our hoodies made this fucking uniform. The 71 was so far left, and the Pearson on the nameplate was so far right. It was the worst thing I'd ever seen. They got, they got, a, they got so a two-year-old to make that, that guy. Day. Are you? Yeah, give us an update. I need, I need, I need pictures from you guys. The guy responded, said, "I need pics." We need to send him pictures. <laughs> Johnny hated it so much, he left it in my car last night. Yes. <laughs> we need pictures. Did you try? Did Johnny try on the sweater? Yeah, it's a large. It's not a medium. Yeah, I know. I got a medium. Oh, I okay. Still didn't think it was gonna fit him. No, it's it's one of those shirts that if you wash it once, it'll never fit you again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they're shit, man. Like fuck. <laughs> I'm not happy. They're terrible. They're terrible. We got we got to resolve. I think I'm getting the mock up sent uh, from uh, we print what you want in Toronto. Uh, Pre sale coming, up. boys. Pre sale coming. Pre sale will be coming. Jerry, I'll be dealing with that and stuff like that. So, and also, um, I'm thinking about. I, I'll, I'll mention it here. I'll give him a plug. So, uh, the bullpen catcher for the Pirates, who's helped me out a lot with my other podcast, he has a pretty successful clothing brand called Downtime Clothing, and he brought up. A potential like you know how like some clothing brands do collabs like the exclusive gate 14 like just they only sell the shirt for a month or a week or whatever yeah mm-hmm. i think that would be electric his designs are oh, sick. yeah his designs are sick like a downtime clothing collab with um gate 14 that would be electric i told him just i told him to just free ball some designs and send them over to me i think that would be that's sick. a no that's a no-brainer eh, Jer? dude what the fuck johnny why you just bring this up like this is like we're finding out with the listeners this is awesome but it's also well like, i wanted to i wanted to get a minute surprise so yeah shout out downtime I clothing man surprise. shout out what downtime they clothing. downtown downtime downtime clothing they make six let's stuff leave so the link. let's leave the link for the boys check it out yeah um yeah what is the link it, i'll give him a free show he's a bullpen catcher for the um pirates awesome zach hampel he hate no yeah he always fights zach hampel that's yeah. why like him and i clicked um yeah, so we're gonna be doing a collab with them sometime in the future. I did bring it up. Um, he called me because I'm gonna do I'm gonna do an episode with him, uh, in a couple weeks with uh, a guy in the Pirates bullpen. But uh, yeah, Downtime Clothing is what it's called. I believe it is DowntimeClothing.com. Yes, it is DowntimeClothing.com. They make some sick stuff. Hey, Jer, have you seen it? Yeah, no, it, it they their shit looks good. Yeah, no, it's unreal. He's really good at it. So mm-hmm. does he? Does he? Also, like, where those hats come from? Hats would be dope. I don't know what the hats are. But, yeah, he does do that. Um, so, yeah, that collabs. Look out for that in the future. That's going to be awesome. I- I'm going to – honestly, I might buy, like, three T-shirts for myself. Though, Like, his designs are sick. So, mm-hmm. we're, we're going to get that done in the future, too. But I guess we can talk about – yeah, we can talk about the uh, – Let's draft, world. man. Let's draft, man, before my internet oh, we'll do fucking shit. We'll do the draft. All right, guys you would golf with on the Toronto Blue Jays. I'm going to let Avery go first because he's the best golfer here. We're going to go in the order of better best golfers. So it's going to go Avery, me, JR. <laughs> Sorry, JR. No disrespect. But uh, I feel Avery, like that was, just a, that was just a way to you let the listeners know that I suck. No, you're a great guy. No, I, I've heard nothing okay. but good things about you being a morale guy on the course, which is what we need. Like, everyone needs a morale yeah. guy who can hack it around her once in a while, too. So, Avery, no research, you fuck. I'm, I roster. I'm just roster, not researching. Okay, go to the roster. Who, who's your first overall pick? All right, so usually um, I want to play with someone good. So do we want to do this, like, as a scramble or guys you want to have a good time with on the golf course? Good time with. Like, I'm talking mm, fives. That I think really fives f- make the most. Okay, that really fucks up. Well, you can do both. Do. You, can, you can approach it either way. You just got to explain why you would golf with them. Okay, I'm going to do, um, do who I think is going to be the best. Um, and usually a very similar thing to a relief pitcher is a golfer. They're just out there on their own, right? Um, Johnny talks about it all the time. A lot of relief pitchers. This might, this might be bad, but I'm gonna go. David Phelps is my guy. I want on my, uh, my scramble. He's That's a guy. Not a bad pick. He's just out there by himself in his own little world. He gets fired up a little bit. I think he's got some nice touch around the greens. Um, I can hit it far off the tee. He'll go close to the greens. I think right away. David Phelps. Relief pitchers. I think is where you just start. You got to start there. That's a good one, Eve. That's a really good. That's one. such a good one. Like. Yeah, that's a really good one. It really is. And the name that I'm going to go with is a name of a guy that I've ad- objectively roasted probably ever since this, the podcast existence. I'm going to go Calvin Biggio. 
Oh. I'm going to go Calvin Biggio. And hear me wow. out. A guy that grew up in obviously a very rich household. I'm sure his dad's a golfer, obviously, especially now. I'm sure he's a pretty decent golfer and a pretty decent dude off the field, right? He has to be a decent dude off the field. He grew up in a big league clubhouse. Calvin Biggio is a no-brainer. He's rich. I'm probably going to be playing like Trump National or something with him because he's just loaded and he's from Texas or he was well, dad. Oh, he's not from Texas, but his dad played there. So I, it's it, it's it's Calvin Biggio by a landslide. That's that's the only option to golf with. I think he's he's got a pretty good game. Probably he can keep it keep it through the middle. Just good. Uh, good club control. Yeah, and he's the type of guy where he kind of gives me the vibes where he doesn't give a fuck if a ball goes in the woods, he's not going to go look for it. You know, he's yeah. like, he's just, all right, I'll take a drop here for three, right? Yep. All okay. right. This is this might actually shock a couple people. To be honest, it might be borderline illegal to pick these guys in this type of setting. Um, but when I'm looking for people to golf with, I'm looking for people to have a good time that know what they're doing. So I'm going to start things off with uh Bichette's dad <laughs> he's not he's not on the team it's he's illegal he's not even a coach. He, alumni <laughs> alumni coach. that's veto is that not allowed veto veto yeah well my le- my next one was gonna be a huge veto but it was craig biggio <laughs> that, what the fuck <laughs> dude? The two fathers they know how to <laughs> golf man okay uh, okay i'm gonna pick okay here we go <laughs> I'm going to no. I'm gonna they have fun. to have a relationship with the Jays. <laughs> and they do. Their kids play for them. I'm going to pick Matt Chapman's grandfather. Can I pick that? Chap- that's completely allowed as long as. Yeah. No, that's... dude. What do you know? Pick a guy oh. that's a, a, a coach or on the team. Okay. That not being allowed. Well, that, that's that's not crazy. Protest. So we can <laughs> just pick. I could pick Matt Chapman's brother in law. I like. Yeah, he's probably a stick probably is okay, hey, okay you know what i'm gonna go vladdy because it'd be hilarious to see him on the course i think That's so good he'd really vomit too he would, um, he would swing like johnny oh my god everyone would be like let's see how far he can hit like how far do you think vladdy can stick that thing man yeah. he's got to have the nastiest slice of all time <laughs> and then uh my oh. <sighs> now i'm put on the spot here um <laughs> <laughs> it's just always funny to think Kirk. I'm not gonna pick him, but like God, yeah, he's just hilarious. like he's a cheat code. You can't <laughs> you imagine Kirk riding a fucking golf cart. <laughs> It'd be a one seater. <laughs> one seater. <laughs> got a big old dumper on him. Yeah. Um I'm gonna go Vlad and I am going to go God. Keep milking it, man. <laughs> I'm really milking this. Um God, man, you're gonna lose your pick. You're gonna have to go last. No, I, I, well, I'm gonna have to give you a pick. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Nate Pearson. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Should I text him? Should I say, hey, man, just a quick question. Do you golf? I just want to <laughs> see. No, he he. Uh, give him a little text message. Say, Jr. wants to golf with you. As well. <laughs> He's probably not in the best headspace right now. He's not able to play. <laughs> Probably not best while he's injured to go golf. Yeah, but okay. So Nate Pearson and Vladdy's your pick. What 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 mm-hmm. other reasoning do you have with Nate Pearson besides the fact that you want like, to suck him from behind? Yeah, I just want to know more about him. <laughs> no more. And what a better way to do that on the course for four hours, right? That is, yeah, yeah. that's true. That's your yeah. dream, man. I hope that. Happens I think a too. lot of people are going to be like Nate Pearson. Wow, <laughs> they're going to be shocked and they're going to vote. No, so listen. There might have been some voter fraud last week because you won the draft by a fucking land. Like I think he landscape. paid for bots. Yeah, you might have paid <laughs> for bots. And also, Jr. <laughs> voted for himself <laughs> on the <laughs> Gate 14 podcast, his own account. He might as well as went on Beach Golf and voted for himself too. For all. I didn't go in that hey, depth. Look, I guys. was the only guy in this fucking podcast that didn't vote for myself. I voted for a. Av- I voted for Jr. <laughs> I was like, all right, that was a good draft. <laughs> okay. why, why would you think? Why would you vote for yourself? Like, you think your draft was that bad? No, because that I'm want... unbiased. I'm unbiased. I think Johnny I'm totally texted biased. the chat. Johnny texted the chat. It was maybe like four minutes after posting, and it was maybe five votes to one. And this guy goes, "Holy fuck, Ave is killing everyone." <laughs> so I'm like, "What the fuck?" Like, 
how is he already like killing everyone? And I look and I'm leading and I'm like, <laughs> Johnny, what the what the hell are you talking about? He goes, well, he was leading when it, when I checked and it was like, well, you won by like 40 votes. I there were, you know I what, actually... guys, one of you picked Danny Jansen to go to the bar and the other picked Bradley Zimmer. How did you guys expect to win? <laughs> That's good. You, you you do hit the you, I mean you're right but you but, don't think Jano's a good guy looking back no, on it no, he's not a bar guy, guy. For, from knowing him he's not a bar guy he's a go play yeah, uh, he's a family guy no he's a family guy and he's a guy that plays what's that game where you hit the like and you're you're in the cars and you hit the, like the soccer ball into the net Rocket League he plays Rocket League to like two three eight like that's what he does he doesn't go out like I just know that from experience. so yeah that was a terrible pick really horrific horrendous pick but um Fuck looking me, back on right? it. I there was over 150 votes or something like that. I only got 28. Like that, that has to be it's, figured. Like, it's Zim, it had to be Zimmer. No one could just <laughs> no one could just click it when they saw Zimmer's face. <laughs> That's true. I this guess one would right. be interesting. Like I think you know, not trying to be cocky, and I probably won't vote for myself. <laughs> guy, JR, but, okay. Well, Jr's um, picks are. Johnny didn't know how to make a poll on Instagram either. No, I, I, I that was didn't. that was crazy too. That was funny. No, I hate yeah. that I had to put an, a right answer on it though, which sucks. Yeah, that's what sucks about it. Like that's and you what put I mine, I, I think, to, because when I voted for myself, it lit green. Yeah. <laughs> that must have been a good feeling. That must yeah, have felt like, great. Oh. All right, so we're gonna go with my second overall pick. I think it's a clear cut guy that looks like a guy's guy. He packs absolute hammers. And listen, no that's way, you're gonna oh, take my guy. This is a good one. So this is a guy, and hear me out. This is a fucking guy. Who oh, packs the biggest guy. dips after every yeah. half inning? He's throwing yeah. his dip to the side. He's the biggest guy guy of all time because he came from the trenches. He was terrible in Baltimore. Now he's nasty. Fuck. It's me. a guy that goes by the name of Kevin Gossman. That God, is, dude. I won this draft by a landslide. Kevin <laughs> Gossman is the biggest guy's guy of all time. He's the guy that's he's the guy that's buying beers for the crew. He you never have to watch. He's just saying to the cart girl, put it on my tab. Just I'm a member here. Throw it on my tab. Fucking two beers each. I want eight beers for the crew. That's what Kevin Gossman is. He's the most. And he's like, and Johnny, he, you want to dip? Don't even take it out of your tin, Johnny. I play in the show. Here's mine. That's mm-hmm. who Kevin Gossman is. That's yeah. Kevin Gossman's clear cut. Oh, might have been 1-1. One, might have been 1-1. One, one. Might have been 1-1. One, one. You picked yeah. Biggio. But you picked Biggio. Well, because he's like, rich. That's your Zimmer this week. Like, that's no, it's hurt. not. <laughs> okay, so we're playing in a scramble. Uh, I got fucked with my vibes guy. I wanted it to be Kevin Gosman because he was going to just light up joints on the on the court <laughs> the whole time. Just let it fly. I think he'd be a stick most likely. So another really weird thing of being a relief pitcher in itself is a weird person. You get grouped into that. Being a left-handed relief pitcher makes you really weird. And I think guys, guys who are really good at golf, some of them are really weird. I'm going to go Tim Meza as my second guy. You lost the draft. That's, I think yeah, that I think we would go so fucking low though. Like it would be like incredible. We would beat you guys not combined by a hundred strokes. I think. Jr. Be honest. God. That that lost in the draft, right? That's that, just, I mean, oh I mean that's that was your risky like, Pietro. Let's spitball who else we could take here that we haven't taken mm-hmm. already. I think there was a I think there was a guy that got missed that just made like what was potentially like a clear cut first rounder that no one chose like a bullpen guy. Um, I think Trevor Matt Richards happened. was my other was my Trevor other Richards. One. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Trevor Richards was I think was a clear cut one. He's a guy that has been around the ringer. He's obviously gray, had gray hair, so it just reminds me of a guy that's on the golf course. Yeah, I think Trevor Richards would have been a great pick. He seems like a decent vibe guy. Yeah, I wish, and he, I wish seems, we and he's probably disgusting at golf. He's probably oh, like we'll just say it. he's probably not. I mean, there. it's the relief pitchers that we think they're the best because they don't really play baseball. They they throw. They don't yeah. have to hit. So, yeah, no, it's fine. If I lost, uh, I think Let's we would. He's a golfer. I think we would rinse you guys of all your money if we played. But maybe we well, should try that. The, well, you're not out of the wood. I mean, there's no golf pictures of Trevor Richards. So I, 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 I don't know if he's a golfer. So that might have been a terrible pick. And all of his Instagram is like none of them's with the boys. It's just oh, all. This is just. I hope Tim Mays is playing fucking Augusta in one of his pictures. This is taking a turn for the worse here. No, I, I won the draft, but Tim Mays didn't have Instagram. And you want to talk? I a mean, about... Vlad on the course by itself might win. This no, draft. dude, that's. I don't know if people are gonna relate with that. I, I mean, the cigars that he would how... smoke would be the fattest old Cuban Think about thing. How. 
viral a picture of just Vladdy. Like I'd go, I'd go viral if I was in that shot. Okay, but you're talking about he'd wear the Bryson hat. Like I think Vladdy wearing the Bryson hat would go mega viral. We need to Photoshop that. <laughs> If he looks like Bobby Jones, nineteen fifteen, <laughs> that is it. funny. How that is Kirk, very funny. How about, how about Vladdy and Kirk partners, and they're wearing the Bryson? <laughs> I think Kirk being a caddy would be really funny. Like, yeah, Kirk is Kirk on the bag be because funny. the bag would be taller than him. Oh my Kirk, god, Kirk is the best thing that happened on Earth, man. That guy is just he's he's just he's just awesome. He really like he just rakes. He starts every rally. <laughs> starts every. <rally. laughs> I can just see Kirk putting up a golf ball and saying, Birdie. <laughs> and I, let's go, Blue Yays. <laughs> I can talk. I can honestly, and I and I, I know we talked about this almost every podcast. Alejandro Kirk memes doesn't mess. Like yeah. he posted a video a picture yesterday of Ross Stripling doing t- like doing stocks. I don't know how he found this picture, but it was like <laughs> Ross, I think the caption was Ross Stripling just put a loss in your portfolio. No, like, no, no. It was, like, it was like time to invest or something. Like it was so good. <laughs> it was awesome. It was really awesome. I, I Kirk memes, man, never fucking lose it. I mean, Alejandro follows you, so your life is pretty much set forever. But it's just awesome. He just he doesn't miss. So shout out Kirk memes. But well, I guess we can start breaking up. I, I, by the way, I won that draft by just a landslide. But let's go break up. Let's go break up this uh, J series here. So the Jays were minus five twenty tonight. That's something that we just can't ignore. Oh my god, minus five twenty. So there's some sucker out there, some fucking tr- uh, Vegas Dave loser that probably took the Jays, lost. Um, that was a, his VIP pick of the day. Was yeah, the Jays VIP minus- pick of the day was Jays money line because he because uh, he's the goat apparently and he knows everything. So. Tomorrow we got Granky versus Manoa. Uh, Saturday it's Daniel Lynch pitching. No idea who's going for the Jays. Uh, yeah, no idea who's going for the Jays. And then Sunday's Brios versus Bubit. I think we have Max, Max Castillo, maybe. Hopefully, that would be sick. That'd be awesome. That really would be, would be awesome. awesome. I'm hoping to see Max Castillo. That'd be sick. Yeah, uh, let's let's Max Castillo against Triple A roster. We'll pad the stats here, but I'll say it. Jays are gonna go three and zero this weekend. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, bango, 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 3-0. and Manoa, Mane, Man, Manoa tomorrow will carve. He will carve because he, because uh, that's what he does. That's what Manoa does. And I believe he lost to the Mariners, right? Like he got, got the loss on Sunday. He, that's back-to-back losses, right? Lost to the Mariners and he lost to the Athletics. Tomorrow, pray for the fucking Royals. They have what are you party. betting? What are you betting? I'm taking win and I'm going to probably take run line, maybe adjusted. I'm going to take, I'm going to take Jays. This might be crazy to say. Minus three and a half tomorrow. I like I like Manoa to record a win. That is well. crazy to say. Minus three and a half. On that. Jay's minus three and a half tomorrow is the play, ladies and gents. Take a minus two and a half to be fun with it. And Manoa strikeouts because now he just punches out every dude in the building. I don't know what the fuck's going on. He's just a punch out guy now. But um, Avery, what do you think? You, are you saying sweep or are you going to say a little two one action? A little split. If they split, this is embarrassing, right? We can all admit that. They yeah. split with the Omaha Storm Chasers. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna say split, and just try to try to jinx it. Split. That's fine. Thank you for your service. I yeah, actually appreciate that a lot. Thank you for your service. So two and one. Max so- Castillo is gonna throw a perfect game though on Saturday. <laughs> I don't have high expectations, but I think he's gonna throw a perfect game. Yeah, just try. At least you're just. Yeah, I actually I, I can respect you being. Just that's like just being a level-headed up. baseball Le- fan. Not- level-headed, unbiased. That's yeah. Yeah, that's just hashtag. Thank you, Avery. Jr. What are you? Are you on the side of the sweep or what? Sweep. Yes. Welcome to the fucking club. Sweep season. Um. Anyways, uh, thank you for your service, Bongo boy. Um. The, it, what was crazy was, and you got to think, the front office planned this. They let him manage on <clears throat> Tuesday to get the win. He ended his tenure with the Blue Jays 500. Mid. Isn't that outlandish? On the dot, 500 with a banner to show for it. Wild card yeah. series. <laughs> the banners do fly forever. We were <laughs> laughing about that yesterday. <laughs> so thank you, Charlie Montoyo, for getting that banner, the wild card series, which we got swept. Um. And yeah, thank you, Charlie, for your service. John Jay's Schneider Mike, era. John Schneider era has begun. Season has started on Tuesday, as uh, Avery alluded to. Jays are two and one in the season. It's fine. 
It's all right. One of the season. Let's go. Let's go four and one going into the All Star break, and let's just enjoy the All Star break where Avery's going to be in God's <laughs> country, PEI. You but know, um, the All Star game. So Jr. So obviously, like, uh, all we need now is just the mock ups for the hoodies. So they give the people like, do you think late next week or the week after we'll be able to have the website live? Like, how will that work? Yeah. So pretty much, we'll just we'll we'll get a system going where you boys can uh, can we'll give everyone a certain period to order hoodies. We'll pump it up and then we'll make the order. But uh, yeah, a week or two sounds good that we'll have that up and running. Right after uh, we finish the Discord, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the um, main priority. Yeah, but the sweaters, we want to get you guys merch because we want you guys rocking at the games and taking pictures of you guys watch rocking some Gate 14 merch. I know you guys want some shit. So uh, the samples, don't worry, guys. The samples were uh, was a little project by us, but, uh, <laughs> but we got it figured out. Uh, we, we took the hit. Uh, we lost some money. Uh, so now the pod is now in the red. <laughs> Uh, but <laughs> we are we are gonna work our way back up, so we're excited to launch these hoodies. Yep. And Avery, I mean Jerry, you couldn't have spoken that better, especially from a guy that has his tail between his legs after ordering the worst hoodies these four eyes have ever seen. So mm-hmm. I do appreciate you doing that. So, um, anyways, guys, I appreciate all the love we've been getting this past week. I will say this: biggest Avery, episode ever last week. Yeah, biggest episode ever, most downloaded by a landslide. Um, and I said this to Avery, man, yesterday's Jay's game was the craziest it's ever been for like fa- like fans like or listeners of the show like that was what i told i think i told us jr actually it was like holy fuck like we got like the boys i love you guys man this is crazy it really is and uh we're not done yet man i'm not satisfied uh i really I, i'm really not satisfied at all to be honest i want this shit to go to the fucking moon to where it's to the point where mike wilner's shaking in his boots and uh blair and barker are shaking in their boots trying to copy our takes maybe maybe let out a, f- a few swear words on uh sports night radio but uh yeah man what a crazy week it's been maybe one of the best weeks for for me for example just based on the fact that charlie's gone there's videos of me from two years ago saying fire charlie two years ago so i've been on the train for a while i'm not a bandwagon jumper but um yeah appreciate the love and uh any last words boys no let's go let's ride let's get some let's get on a win streak here love you guys